Welcome back, Cubs. Dire Wolf here. And joining me again is Foxy. Thank you, Dire Wolf. As Dire Wolf's cub should already but know by now, I'm Foxy. Just an adorable, cute, privileged fox bent on world domination. Thank you for joining me yet again for another video, Foxy. My pleasure, Dire Wolf. Today, we're going to have a little discussion about one special snowflake's views and complaints about gender roles and stereotypes. We will be responding to an ambiguous YouTuber named Alex, and he is one of the fruitiest snowflakes I have ever seen. Fagalus? Now, before we begin, because snowflakes are always quick to label us as homophobic, Dire Wolf and I do not care whatsoever what this YouTuber's sexual orientation is. Of course, we are going to make fun of him, but we're making fun of him because of his asinine ideas in his video, not because he has some sugar in his tank. Remember, cubs and kids, sexual orientation, just like skin color, is not important when judging a person's character. It's the person's actions and what they say that's important in determining a person's character. And no person is above a little mockery now. Okay, so with my public service announcement out of the way, let's begin. Surprise, surprise. Another young regressive saying it's bad for a man to act like a man and a woman to act like a woman. This should be fun. Let's hear what Alex has to say. Hey guys, so um, today's video is going to be about gender roles and my thoughts and opinions on them. I personally think gender roles put women and men in boxes, and I feel like they limit their potential. Sorry, but a toe is a toe, and a roll is a roll. And if we don't get no toes, then we don't eat no rolls. I made that up. <laughs> this may be true in some places around the world, some third world places in the world that have limited opportunity in general for all people, and especially not the freedom to do things that are too far outside the norm. But that's not true of the Western world. In the Western world, you are free to do and be anything that you are capable of. You have the freedom to choose. And in the West, if you go against gender norms, yes, you'll be seen as being different because you are different than what is normal. However, in the West, you are not forced to conform to those gender norms. Use yourself as an example. No one is holding you down and forcing you to follow the roles of either gender. You're not actually complaining about people forcing you into either box because no one's forcing you into the box of either gender. What you're really complaining about is that people have certain expectations of you based on your gender and you're not meeting their expectations. There is a huge difference between being forced into a gender role that you do not conform to and simply not meeting someone's expectations of what your gender role should be. The hypothetical former would take away your freedom to choose to be as weird as you want to be, but that's not what's happening to you. It's the latter, which is only going to affect you as much as you care about other people's opinions of you. I'm wondering if he's got this mental image in his head of what it was like back prior to World War II. In today's modern society, gender norms have blurred a bit, and it was World War II that helped push past the old school gender norms. However, even though most of the traditional style gender norms have been blurred or almost eliminated, some basic gender norms still exist due to evolution, biology, and culture. These norms are not as strict as previous norms were. Therefore, that so-called box that Alex believes people are being placed in doesn't exist anywhere but in his overly greased up head. Like for example, boys at a young age, they're told you cannot cry, um, like suck it up, you don't have feelings, and if you have other feelings than anger, that's weakness. And I feel like that's so wrong for so many reasons. First off, no one's teaching their sons they can only be angry. No one wants their children to be perpetually angry. However, it is very normal for men to teach their sons not to reason with emotions and to have a control over their emotions because it's a life skill. If you want to produce stable, mentally tough, resilient male adults, then you need to teach them to have a control over their emotions and to not reason with emotions. If you do not do this, you'll produce adults that deal with their emotions like this. You're fucking a white male! You're a white man! No, I have done my research. Bullshit! I bullshit! You're fucking a white male! That's not a fucking issue! You've never experienced oppression in your entire fucking life! No, the white guys are Yes! Compared to the black people that are gunned down every single day by police! You're a white man! You're fucking old. I am a fucking punk. An old ass piece of shit. Old. But you know what's funny about that? You're a white man. No. Have you done to benefit this planet? I've done my research. You just run in your mouth. I ask as what we all do to each other. You white guys are right. Take your sugar fairy ass on somewhere, dog. 
You're a fucking white male! Holy fuck, that clip makes my fur stand on end every damn time I see it. It's like nails clawing at my brain, listening to a grown-ass man act like a three-year-old throwing a tantrum. Like Wolf said, no parent worth their salt is teaching their sons that they are not allowed to have any emotions other than anger. Boys still cry when things upset them or they're mad, and their parents are not beating them, telling them to suck it up. I asked Oppressive Hubby about how his childhood was and how he was raised in regards to his emotions and the expectations his parents had of him as a male. He told me that he was expected to act his age and that he was raised to have control over his emotions and not be governed by them. Did he cry when he was little? Of course! All kids cry about things. Did his parents beat him down and tell him he couldn't cry because he was a boy? No! They talked to him calmly and got him to gain control over his emotions so he could stop crying and think rationally. That's how all kids with good parents should be raised. Even females are taught this, but as females, we are biologically more emotional than males because of the hormones we have. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with it. Also, boys need to be raised to be emotionally stronger because that's a part of our evolution. Men evolved to be the hunters and the warriors and you need control over your emotions for that. And from my personal experience in life, anger was always considered the weaker of the emotions because it's easier. It's easier to be angry and it's harder to remain calm. So no, anger is not considered the go-to emotion for males or like the stereotypical man would like work in construction and like be so manly and Jobs at construction are stereotypically held by men for two very good reasons. First, because men on average have heavier, larger skeletons and more muscle mass and are more capable of doing the job. Second, men are naturally more inclined towards or interested in doing those kinds of jobs. This stereotype is a great example of how gender roles by and large are determined by biology and the dimorphous nature of the sexes and not by bigotry. Damn biology is getting in the way of Alex's narrative. Super strong muscular women that can deadlift if you're sorry ass and body slam you are the exception, not the rule. Because of that evil thing called evolution again, women have evolved to be the gatherers and the caretakers of children, which are not that physically demanding. I think Alex brought this topic up because he will probably look like this in any physically demanding job. <laughs> Cook, for God's sakes, is not even, like, society's norm for a man. That is simply not true. There are more famous TV cooks that are male than there are female. Many men pride themselves on being great grill masters and great cooks. Yes, men do less baking than women, but in Western culture, it is not weird to see a man as a cook. Think of a stereotypical American diner, and then think of who's in that kitchen. More often than not, you'll see a man, because that's what's depicted in movies and in TV shows, as well as in reality. Did Alex just stereotype men? Is he claiming they can't cook? Men have dominated cooking jobs for years, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, hell, oppressive hubby can cook way better than I can. Should I be triggered? Hell no! I get free meals. Thank you. Alex is just grasping at straws at this point. Like, fuck you. You should clone yourself. Why's that? So you can go fuck yourself. And like society tells men that they have to be like this big muscular guy and be like so strong and like protect his family. Are you saying that men should not protect their families? Men are expected to be the protectors and breadwinners because they are naturally given the body size and strength to do that job. While women have a drastically different body type that allows for childbirth, the difference in the expectations of the genders is based on the difference in ability and practicality. Are you jealous, Alex? I think you're jealous. That's funny, kind of weird. I know flagpoles that are bigger than you. Anyways, enough with Alex projecting his inequality qualities for the moment. It's not a good thing if a man fights like this. It's much better and sexier if he's able to fight like this. For 
furthermore, is coded into men's DNA with a desire to protect their family. It's all a part of that evil thing I keep bringing up called evolution. Damn it, Darwin! I can also provide a good example of this. One of the big problems with females being in combat units in the military is the fact that males will instinctively want to protect the females. I know this for a fact I have actually seen this. So men are not being put into boxes just because they have evolved to be protective. And whatever the fuck they say men should do. If you're a man, you don't have to do anything, but if you don't demonstrate your ability to provide for your family, protect your family, and demonstrate self-control, determination, and competitiveness, then you are unlikely to pass on your genes. And whatever attribute that you have that makes you different from the norm will likely be bred out of the gene pool. Not because of bigotry, but because of societal norms that are beneficial to increasing the chance that you procreate, which then, again, reinforces gender stereotypes. I'm not saying that gender norms or being straight are superior, I'm just explaining to you why they are the norm, because they are more often successful in passing on their genes. Sorry Alex, but mother nature is a bitch. Humans are still animals, and as such, we still have the natural instincts, and one is to produce offspring. So it's not society that's quote unquote holding you down and putting people in boxes. Our norms are simply based off one fundamental driving fact in life, making babies. And like Wolf said, this doesn't make stereotypical straight people superior to people that have a different sexual orientation. Homo sapiens are able to accept those outside the norms that nature and evolution have produced over millions of years. Not sure about you, but I'm actually kind of proud of that fact. We are a species that's able to accept those in our own species that are actually different. And women should be like weaker smaller, gentle, um, they like to wear dress, they like to wear makeup, um, they have long hair. Fashion standards change drastically from culture to culture and over time, but the core principle is that women do things to attract men. Those who don't in many cultures will not pass on their genes. Also the normal behaviors expected of women are a product of nature, making them more suited nurturers for their children than men are. Basically much of societal norms are based off of the biology of humans and reinforcing what behaviors are more likely to increase your chance of procreation. You're obviously enjoying one of those female gender norms of wearing makeup that you talked about Alex. You need to lighten up a little bit on that, honey. Women have simply evolved to be gentler because raising babies needs to be done with a gentle hand. I know I'm smaller and weaker than a oppressive hubby and I have no issues with that. Actually, I use it to my advantage because I'm able to get hubby to do the more labor intensive chores around the house. Yes, I'm loving this cute privilege that I have. I'm also extremely tiny, so it, it's a big advantage for me. I'm not being placed in a damn box simply for being exactly what my biology dictates what my body was going to be and my mannerism we're going to be. Get over it, Alex. You have this obsession with boxes and it's a little disturbing. Like, this is so stupid. No, saying that because you don't fit the norms, that the norms for other people need to be changed to fit you is stupid. What is stupid is the incredible hubris required to say that the rest of the world needs to change to fit you. You're an only child, aren't you? Why would you say that? Because everything is about you. I have no problem with your sexuality or your gender expression, and I will oppose anyone who harasses you on those two points alone. However, what I am against is the idea that we should not teach boys to be men just because people like you exist. No one's forcing you into a box of being manly, and there are laws that protect your right to live your life the way you want to live it, as there should be. But it's very wrong to say the rest of society needs to change so you don't have to feel different. What's wrong with being different? Sometimes different is a very good thing. Society is not not going to change to make you feel better about yourself, Alex. It's just not going to happen. Reels over feels. And it's stupid to think you can force social norms to change just because you want them to. And these norms have been constructed over thousands of years of evolution biology. You're simply just not going to change them by willing them or telling other people you must change your norms. That's stupid. They exist for a reason. And here's the kicker, and I know Wolf has already touched on this. No one is forcing you to conform to standard gender norms. Our species is too far evolved evolve to chastise someone simply because they are different. I feel like society created those gender roles and stereotypes to be able to categorize every single person. Society is not a hive mind. We all individually put people into groups because it is a natural part of our psyche to see patterns. What we perceive as normal for gender roles is simply the norm of the behaviors that we see, and they are the norm because they are successful. I need to point out that Alex is actually guilty of what he's ranting about. He's made himself out to be a stereotypical gay guy. I mean, you can easily tell that he's a bit flaming from his over-exaggerated gay and female mannerisms. Isn't he putting himself into that stereotypical gay guy box? What's wrong with being a manly gay guy or 
or a feminine lesbian. Society has accepted and embraced all sorts of new norms and personal expressions. And I feel like if society can't categorize someone, they're kind of scared of it. Not scared, likely confused, similar to how confused you are about masculinity, which you clearly do not understand. I think Alex is confused on a lot of things. Poor Alex. Maybe one day he'll learn that it's actually okay to be manly, and no one is trying to put him in a box. Ah, how shall I do it? Oh, I know. I'll turn him into a flea. A harmless little flea. And then I'll put that flea in a box. And then I'll put that box inside of another box. And then I'll nail that box to myself. And when it arrives, <laughs> I'll smash it with a hammer! Like, let's be real. And I feel like that's why a lot of people get so mad at people that are different. Like, if a girl wants to have short hair and wear boys' clothes and, you know, be so manly, she should be allowed and not get a second stare. And she shouldn't be judged for it. Oh my god, if he keeps saying the word like, I'm going to claw my own eyes out and drink bleach. It's an expectation based on the norms of biology. You don't have to meet them, and if you don't meet them, that's fine. But the expectation and the uncomfortable reaction to being faced with something different than the norm is natural. The reaction is usually not malicious, and generally people get over it. However, it's pointless to try to change that fact. You can still be accepted for who you are without trying to change the norm. Accept the fact that you don't have to be normal to be happy. Like, totally, Dire Wolf. Like, I couldn't say it better myself, and like, um, like, yeah, like, ugh. I hope Alex watches this and sees how annoying it is to use the word like over and over and over in a damn sentence. Anyway, you're right, Wolf. He doesn't have to meet any kind of social expectations. There are absolutely no laws in place in the West that says he will be thrown off a building if he doesn't conform to a stereotypical male. That law just doesn't exist. The norms we have, however, have conditioned us to react uncomfortably when faced with a person that doesn't appear to any gender norms whatsoever. Thankfully, though, as humans and humans in the West, we tend to get over that very very quickly and accept that person for how they are. No violence or hate involved. Like, I'm sorry that not everyone fits in your cookie cutter, ignorant view of what a woman and a man should be. And I feel like gender roles shouldn't um, limit a person to what they want to do. Like if a man wants to be a nurse, for example, society would say that a man is a doctor and a girl is a nurse. You have no proof of that. What are you talking about? There are many female doctors and male nurses. There is no societal barriers, only a divergence in the number of each gender choosing these career paths. I think he's starting to lose his mind. There is no way he can maintain that level of mental gymnastics without permanently spraining something in his head. Sorry, Alex, your narrative has completely collapsed. And I'm sorry you obviously have no clue about how the world works or have an actual understanding Understanding of what gender norms are in today's society or even where they came from. But that's wrong. Like, a, a guy can be a nurse and a girl can be a doctor. Yeah, I just said that like 10 seconds ago. Ugh, there are men nurses and there are female doctors. Does he live in his own reality or something? Uh, you know, like an alternate reality where he's a permanent victim of an imaginary bigotry? This video is probably going to be such a mess. You should probably have said that at the beginning of the video. You gotta warn people if you're gonna waste 10 minutes of your life talking about something that makes no sense. Okay, I didn't even have to open the video to know it was going to be a mess. The thumbnail to his video is telling enough to the amount of bullshit that it was going to have. But I just wanted to like get my point across and I just want people to stop judging others because they're not like the norm of what society thinks they should be. Good luck with that. Everyone judges everyone. And just because you're as fruity as Toucan Sam, it doesn't mean that society will force you to be manly. You be you. And if you don't meet people's expectations, so what? The problem is that you cannot destroy those expectations because they exist for a good reason. Their existence in a free society in the West where you are legally and socially permitted to live your life in any way you so choose does not do anything to oppress you. Live and let live is always a good motto to have. Sadly, Alex, you did not get your point across in your video. What you did accomplish is to demonstrate you are guilty of stereotyping people that fall within society's gender norms. You don't want people to judge others 
just because they are not a part of the social norms, but you are judging people that do fall within the social norms. Again, I say live and let live. No one is infringing on your rights. You're allowed to live the way you want to, and you are actually protected. You're allowed to do what you want. So just take it and go live a happy life if you're able to, but you seem to be triggered by everything in society, so hmm, sorry. Thank you again, Foxy, for joining me on yet another video. Cubs, if you want to see our channel, it is linked in the description. Also, Alpha Bitch is my wife, and she plans on doing a video soon. And her video idea was she will answer questions that you guys ask. So, in any video, if you put in Alpha Bitch and then a question, I will record those questions, and she will make a video where she answers all those questions. Direwolf, out. Hey.